Hello everybody, this is Sala and you're watching a Smart Code. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to bind a single event to multiple controls. For example, to bind a single click event to several buttons. It's a very useful coding strategy in several applications. Like when you program a calculator application, we work with several buttons. So in an application like this, we don't bind an individual event to every button. What we actually do is we group several buttons under a single event based on their functionality. So this strategy actually improves the code quality and at the same time reduces the workload. Right, so let's get into it and see how do we do that. So here I have a simple form with three buttons on it and these buttons are gonna share a same click event or in other words, we will only have one click event shared among these buttons. To do that, you will select the button. You will select any of them like this one and then we will go inside the event tab uh, in the property window and here we see the click event which is already selected by the program because the click event is the default event for the button control and this event is gonna share by all the others so we can name it differently so we can say btn number underscore click right and now after that you just need to hit the enter that's it so what we have done, we have registered a click event to uh, this first button, right? And now we are gonna select the second button and in the event tab, here we have the click and as we have already created an event earlier, that's why you see a pull down list, just click on that and now you will see the event we created earlier, right? So just choose this event here from the list and just double click or press the enter here. So what we have done now, we have registered the single click event to this one and this one. And now we are going to repeat the same process. We are going to select the button number three and then click here. It will show a pull down menu. Open the menu, select the event and then double click here. That was simple, right? All of the buttons are now sharing a same event. We can check it out just by displaying a message box, right? So let's run the program and now click on the first button, and here you see the message box. Second button, you see the message box. In the third button, you see the message box. So it was a straightforward confirmation that the event is registered to all of them. But the problem here is that how do we identify? How do we find out which button is actually raising the event? As we program further this application, we need to know exactly which button raising the event because they may have different tasks in the application. Let's just consider a calculator application. So if it were a calculator application, then by pressing the button one, number one is delivered to the program. By pressing the button two, number two is delivered to the program. And by pressing the button three, number three is delivered to the program, right? So how do we solve this issue and identify which button raises the event? The answer is we actually identify with the help of object sender, or you can call it sender object. This sender object is actually holds the reference to the object who raises the event. So in our case, uh, we have these three button objects, right? So when the button is clicked, this sender object is going to hold the reference of the button and we are going to program a bit to get that button object reference like this and that simply means the reference to the button which is clicked is assigned to this button variable and so now uh, in this label control we can print the confirmation Right? We are printing the text property of the button. Let's now run the program. Now click on the first one and here you can see we can identify this one is clicked. I click on the second one and here you can see the second one is clicked and I click on the third one and here you can see the result. So my friends that was the tutorial about binding a single event to multiple controls. We learn how to do that and we also learn how to identify which control is actually raising the event.
I hope this tutorial is going to help you out. I will see you around. Thanks for watching.